Welcome to the Lightroom 4 Podcast. My name is RC. Now, I want to spend some time talking about the book layout because the book layout is a great way for you to take your images and place them in a book. Now, what I'm going to do here is I want to take these images that we have here and I want to place them inside of a book. Now, I have a collection selected here. I have a collection called 4 Book and it's got 42 images in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the book module automatically once I click on the book module you'll notice that you have a set of templates already set up for you to work with this and it's based on these right here so you have a set of spreads you have two page options or you have a single page option for you to work on I find that it's a lot easier for you to work kind of in these spreads at the top so that you can kind of start laying everything out now here's your back cover here's your front cover and they could not make it any easier for you to work with this. I think it's great. You can select auto layout and it'll throw all of your images inside of your layout, but you wanna do this one by one. You wanna be able to control where all of these go. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna start grabbing images and placing images inside of the book. So I'll single click on one and I'll drag it right on top. And you notice that now I have that set up there if you click right on the image, you can kind of zoom in or you can zoom out as you see fit. You can also drag it and move it around here. So now my front cover is done. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to this one section. I want to work with this one. If I want to work with this setup, I can go ahead and I can drag an image into this or I can go ahead and click on this drop down. And in the drop down, you have a set of options that you can use. You can go ahead and select from a bunch of different presets that you have available here. So you'll notice that as you click, you have a whole bunch of different presets available to you. So if you wanted to do something that has two, pay, two photos or three photos or multiple photos, you can scroll down. There's a bunch of different presets available for you there. So let's say, for example, that I want to use something that has two photos. I click on that. There's some options for text. There's some options that just have straight options like that. You have some options that have them on top of one another, a variety of different things. Let's say that I want to use this one. Once I click on it, it shows up there. Now all I need to do is just drag and release. And it'll automatically populate that. Now I'll come down to the next one here and you'll notice that I'm out of pages, right? So there's not that many pages there. And what I want to do is I want to add more pages to this. Well, you can do this right from inside of here. This is where you have your book settings, right? Inside of here, you have the size of the book and you have a bunch of different sizes that you can use. You can go ahead and choose how you want your cover set up, what paper you want to use, and whether or not you want a logo page or not. This gives you an overall estimated price of what that book is going to cost you. If you go under auto layout, that's your layout right there. If you go to pages, you can automatically add a page from here, or you can add a blank page. So the page is being added based on this template, right? So if we want to add a page that's a four photo, you would just select the one that you want to add and then add it. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like this and I'm going to add a blank page. Matter of fact, I'm going to add several. Now I can go back into this and I can say, all right, well, I want to work with this one here. So I'm just going to go ahead and select on this and I want to use a one photo. And let's say that I want to use this one here. It puts a placeholder in and now all I need to do is just find an image that I want inside of my collection and say, this is the image that I want to use. I'll just drag it right on top of here. Now that's done. I want to grab this one. I'm going to place this one right here. Now at any point in time, I could always go back to that one photo and I can add something different. You'll notice that there's a blank spot there where you can put text and all of that text can be controlled right here inside of the type. So you have control over what the font looks like, the styling of the font, where the character is, the size and the opacity, as well as how it floats and where it centers. So there's a lot of information that's there. If you don't have any information though, you could always go over to the guide section and in the guide section, you can click on filler text. And what that'll do is as you change to those layouts, you'll be able to see some filler text in that area. Now, let's say that I come over here, I'm going to go ahead and use a two page spread. And what two page spreads let you do is they let you place images that are wider like panels and 
you have a bunch of different layouts on how to do it. So let's say that I select this one. That's what that would look like. Now from here, I can go back through my collection and find a nice two page spread that I want to use and grab that and just drag that right in there. At any point in time, I can zoom out or zoom in. If you want to change that layout, you can always come over here and just choose a full bleed. And now look, you can always grab it and drag it and place it exactly where you want it. Now, let's scroll down here a little bit more and you'll notice we talked about the guide. So right now you see page bleed, you see text safe area, you see the photo cells themselves or filler text. Click on the cell. You can change the padding. You can add captions to the images if you want. You can also change the type, but you also have an option for backgrounds. And this is interesting in that you can choose a page that you want to work with and you can wash a background into another one. So let's say, for example, I wanted to have this picture here, but I want that picture in a one page layout, right? One photo layout. And I want to take that photo like that. I'll go ahead and I'll drag this picture in, but I want it to be smaller. I just come over to the edge, make this smaller. Now from there, I'm going to go ahead and I want to, let's go ahead and just turn this view over here so that we go to a different view. I'll just turn that off. And now let's say that I want to take this and I want to wash that graphic into the background. Well, I can always just grab that same graphic, drag it on top of here, and it'll automatically apply it either globally right here, or I can uncheck that and then drag that and apply it just to that one page. Now you'll notice that it sits almost kind of as a whitewash right behind that page. I'm going to click on this one. And now let's say that you don't want to add a picture, but there's a whole bunch of preset things that you can add to it. So for example, if I wanted to add something with a map, I could always come over here or grab something with a compass or grab something with an accent. I can grab this and it'll automatically add that. Now I can go ahead and change that layout. Let's go ahead and grab something else. I will grab, let's say this image, put it right back in there. And in no time flat, we're creating a really, really nice book right inside of Lightroom. If you want to see what all the pages look like, you just click on this layout. And now you can kind of scroll back and take a look at what your book is looking like. Once you're ready, you just click send book to blurb and you're good to go. You can always go back to the book settings and kind of get a general idea as to what this estimated price is. And you have different currencies for that. It's a great way for you to take all of your memories and commit them to the beauty of a book. My name is RC. Thanks for watching.